let's bring back our five digits one two three four five and let's again make some three digit numbers but this time we'll be specific this time we're going to make three digit even numbers so the question for us is how many three digit even numbers can be formed and let's say we allow the digits to repeat you can pick a digit as many times as you want so pause the video think about it okay so let's do this together to make a three digit even number we'll do three things we'll first fill this digit and then this one and then the last one so fill this digit and this digit and this digit and how do we make sure that this number is even well we'll have to make sure that this last digit is even so if the last digit is even the entire number will also be even as a quick refresher let's forget about the even thing and let's see how to solve this part well if the repetition is allowed we can have numbers like this we can pick one and then one and then one 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 that's going to be a valid number given that we are not worried about the even thing for now so how many such numbers are there in total let's see we have these three digits for the first one there are five options one two three four five so there are five ways if you pick any one of them let's say you pick three so three comes here for the next one you're still left with all five options so let's say you pick three again so three comes here for the last one you have again five options let's say you pick four four comes here so five 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 all three parts of the job can be done in five ways each and because we're doing all three of them we'll multiply the number of ways so five times five times five will give us 125 ways and these are your 125 numbers now only some of them will be even so how do we figure out how many of them are even well let's get started coming back to the problem we want to find three digit even numbers and we have to make sure that this number is even let's put down our digits we have these three digits and let's talk to the yellow box we have five options for this box 1 2 3 4 and 5 so five ways let's say this box picks 3 so we'll put 3 here let's move to the next one the orange box this box again has five options 1 2 3 4 5 so five ways to do this let's say this box also picks 3 so 3 comes here and we move to the last one which is where we'll be careful so we'll have five options 1 2 3 4 5 but we don't really have five options because we want to make sure that this box is even we'll strike out all the odd digits so it can't have one it can't have three and it can't have five how many real options do we have for this box so because there are two options there are two ways to do this part of the job and let's say this picks four so how many ways do we have we have 5 times 5 times 2 that's going to be 25 times 2 that's 50 ways and can you see which 50 of them are even let me help with the color coding we have these 50 numbers that are even the numbers that are ending with 2 and the numbers that are ending with 4 these are our even numbers so this was fairly straightforward but what happens when the digits are not allowed to repeat what if we have to find three digit even numbers when the digits are not allowed to repeat Pause the video if you want to give this a shot. Okay, so let's do this together. We have to fill this digit and this digit and this digit, and we have to make sure that this digit is even. So let's get started. Let's bring back our digits. How do we do this? So let's fill this box first. We have one, two, three, four, and five. How many total ways? We have five ways. Let's say this box picks three. So we'll put three here. Let's talk to the orange box. We have one, two. 3 is gone so 4 and 5 how many total options we have only four options left let's say this box picks 1 so we'll put 1 here and let's move to the last box which is the pink box this is where we'll have to be careful we have to make this box even how many options left we have 2 4 and 5 but you can't pick 5 because 5 is odd so you have only two options 2 and 4 so only two ways let's say you pick 2 so you put 2 here so how many total ways 5 4 and 2 and because we're doing all three of them 5 times 4 times 2 that's 20 times 2 that's 40 ways let's take a look at these 40 even numbers here's the list of all the three digit numbers where the digits are not allowed to repeat and the blue ones are all the even numbers wait a minute i don't see 40 of them i think they're less than 40 i think we've made a mistake somewhere i think we should go back and try this one again here are these three digits let's start with the yellow box We have five options: one, two, three, four, five. So we have five options. Last time we picked an odd number. We picked three. Let's say this time we pick two. So two goes here. And now let's move to the orange box. This has one, three, four, and five. 
So this has four options. This box can be filled in four ways. Let's say it picks one. So one comes here. And for the last box, the pink one, we have three, four, and five. We can't use five. We also can't use three. There's only one number that we can use, and that number is four. So this box can be filled in only one way this time. Interesting. The only option for us is four, so we'll pick four. But how many total ways do we get? We get five times four times one. This time we get 20 ways, which means now we're saying we have 20 such numbers. Let's have a look. I don't think we have 20 such numbers. I think we have more than 20 blue numbers. So are we wrong again? What's happening here? Let's go back and try this one last time. Okay, let's set this up. For this blue box, we have five options. One, two, three, four, five. So five options here. Let's say this box picks two. So two comes here. We move to the next one. We have one, three, four, and five. So four ways. Let's say the orange box picks four. So four comes here. And we move to the last one. We have one, three, and five. Hold on. It can't have one. It can't have three. It also can't have five. So are there zero ways to fill this one? What's happening here? There seems to be some error that we're not able to catch. Can you figure out what the issue is? Pause the video, think about it. Let's solve this mystery together. We had to form three digit even numbers. And to do that, we had to fill these three boxes. Now these two did not have a problem, but this third one, because we wanted even numbers, this third one had problems with some of the digits. In math, this is called a constraint. In English, a restriction, and I like to call it a nuisance. And here's a very useful tip. Wherever you see a constraint, always take care of that first. This is where the issue is. These two digits are okay with anything you give them. So this is why we were getting into trouble. We were starting with these digits first and we were taking care of this last. This time, we're gonna deal with this digit first. So let's do that. We're gonna make some even numbers and for that, this digit has to be even. And because this is the constraint, we'll deal with it first. So let's start with the pink box. How many options do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, and five. But how many real options do we have? Because this digit has to be even, it can't be one, it can't be three, and it can't be five. It can only pick from two and four. So this digit has only two options. Let's say we pick two and put it here. Now let's move to these two. Let's pick the orange one first. How many options does this orange box have? The digits left are one, Two is gone, so three, four, and five. So we have these four options, so four ways. Let's pick one, so one comes here. Now let's finally move to the yellow box. How many options does this yellow box have? Well, one is gone and two is gone, so we have three, four, and five. It can pick any of them, so we have three ways here. Let's say it picks five. Now do you notice what's happening here? Because we start with this, no matter what this digit picks, it can either pick two or it can pick four, it will consume one of these digits and we'll always be left with four choices here. And because this will also take one of the digits, we will always have three choices here. So this means we'll always end up with these many ways. Three here, four here, and two here. This time, we can't go wrong. Let's find the total number of ways. We have three times four times two. Three times four is 12, times two is 24, which means we actually have 24 such even numbers where the digits are not repeating. And you don't have to take my word for it. Pause the video, check it for yourself. You'll see 24 blue numbers on the screen.